Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to configure an NMCUE with my already set up configuration. I'll start off by configuring my service engine. Issuing the show IP interface brief commands reveals our service engine. Right now it's not assigned an IP address. I will do that in the next step. I am assigning it the IP address of 10.1.30.2. Five four and a subdin mask of two five five two five five two five five zero. I'm going to assign the service module with an IP address of ten dot one dot thirty dot two five three with a subdin mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Next, I'm going to set the default gateway for the service engine. Finally, I'm going to issue the notion command. Here you can see the service engine configured with the IP address we just assigned it. Next I'm going to configure a static route to the service engine. I am now going to reverse telnet into the service engine. To do this, you first type in service module followed by service engine followed by the followed by one slash zero followed by the keyword session. Now that our service engine is online, I'm going to configure the users. First, I'm going to first create the two users. The first username is eFone1. Next, I'll create the next user named eFone2. Next, I will assign them pins. I'm going to assign both the users with pins of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You need even 2 with the pin of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.
Finally, I'll assign ePhone 1 and ePhone 2 with phone numbers. Next, I'll configure the voice mailbox of ePhone 1. I'm, I'm going to disable the tutorial by giving in the keyword no tutorial. I'm going to disable the tutorial for ePhone 2 as well. Next, I'll enter into the SIP configuration. I assign a gateway address. Which in our case is 10.1.30.254. Next, I type in the keyword MWI followed by SIP and the keyword unsolicited. This command is used to allow SIP to control the message waiting indicator. Now I exit from here. And now I'm going to configure the trigger for my voicemail. I do this by typing in the keyword CCN trigger followed by SIP, the keyword phone number and my number and my voicemail number which in our case is 1111 the application I'm going to be using is voicemail I'm going to exit out of here back into my router by tapping in control shift 6 X in my router's configuration I'm going to enter into telephony service and assign the voicemail number. In our case, it is 1111. Next, I'm going to configure ePhone 1 and ePhone 2 in such a way that if their lines are busy, they would forward calls to the voicemail. This is done by typing the call forward busy followed by the number 1111 which happens to be our voicemail. I'm going to repeat the same thing for iPhone 2's line. Finally, I'm going to create a dial peer. I am now going to create a dial peer so that CUE and CME can communicate with each other. I'm going to name it 1111 and this is a VoIP dial, dial peer. The destination is 1111 and the session protocol that I will be using is SIP and to be specific with SIP version 2. The target an IPv4 address of 10.1.30.253. Next I give the command DTMF relay SIP notify. I assign the codec as G7 I assign the codec as G711 new law. as CUE can only talk in this codec. Finally, I'm going to remove VAND by giving in the command no VAND. The last bit of configuration is to set up an MWI server. I, do, 
I do this by entering into the SIP user agent configuration, typing in MWI server IPv4 and the IP address of 10.1.30.253. Let's test our configuration. I'm going to make 1001 busy and leave a voicemail on it. Sorry, extension 1001 is unavailable. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Since this is you, you have to leave a minimum of a 3 second message. To send this message with normal priority, your message has been sent. Goodbye. If you notice, the softphone's MWI indicator has lit up. This is to indicate unread messages. If I go to the home screen, I see a message waiting for me. To access this message, I simply press the messages button. Enter your password, followed by pound. I now enter my password of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the pound key. Hello, you have one new message. I press 1 to access new my messages. message. Extension 1002. Sent message 1 today at 2.25 p.m. I press 3 to del delete this message. Deleted. End of new messages. You can now notice that the MWA indicator has turned off. Thank you for watching.